morning. morning. Today, my complete <laughs> presentation title is Patent Battles on Your Pump. Mm -hmm. These 10 countries, including the United States, Korea, Japan, and, and, and other European countries, like France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands. Can you guess what they have in common in these countries? Yes. Yes. Anything? Culture. Culture? Culture? Or... <laughs> okay. <laughs> People. <laughs> Actually, these countries are battlefields of Samsung and Apple. So, today, I want to talk about conflict between Samsung and Apple. But I want to focus on the lawsuits only in the United States and Korea. So, this is my roadmap. I want to talk about keywords, result of lawsuits, and conclusion. So, let's start from the keywords. Um, during the battle between Samsung and Apple, there are two important keywords. The first one is friend. Friend means free, reasonable, and non-discrimination. Its objective is its objective is to prevent, um, uh, to regulate unfair deals caused by monopoly. In other words, only two well-known technology, its use ha have to be available to anyone who wants to use, by uh, without any without any discriminations. It is used as a sort as a sort of defense um, against another's another's lawsuit by both. And the second keyword is trade dress. Trade dress means a new, un, un, unique design or feeling that distinguishes from others, like Coca-Cola bottle. Mm. Apple sues Samsung for violating Apple's trade dress. Items are rounded corner, home buttons, and uh, rectangular screen. Until now, until now, I talked about the two important keywords during the battle. So, I wanted from now I want to talk about results. Uh, the first chart only shows when the apple was a plaintiff. Uh, as you see, the results are very the results are very different from the countries. Uh, the United States uh, tended to hold Apple's hands, and and the Korea tended to have tended to have hold Korean's hand. Samsung. Samsung's hand. <laughs> <laughs> the next chart went even further. Uh, it only shows Samsung was a plaintiff, and in the United States, Apple doesn't have to compensate anything to Samsung, but in Korea. Um, Apple have to compensate to Samsung about $40,000. Okay. I just talked about results of losses. I want to talk about my conclusion. I think a modest conflict <laughs> could help each other. And Apple and Samsung have had so many conflicts between them in every corner of the world. But actually, they are constantly developing. But uh, I think it's important to keep their own rights, but in the middle of it, sometimes customers might be happier because of their conflict. Thank you. <laughs>